Hey guys, um, I come by, uh, coming to you today to show you a brand new recipe. Um, it's not brand new with the company, but it's brand new because I haven't done a video on it yet. So, um, I also wanted to let you know and showcase um, the Rock Crock, which is the special for February for new consultants. You get the Rock Crock and the Slow Cooker Stand together. Um, but uh, before I go into details on that, I just wanted to go ahead and start the recipe and then while it's cooking, um, I'll just I'll talk a little bit more about the special. So. Um, today we're making cheesy shells and Italian sausage, and I've already browned up um, eight ounces of um, Italian sausage um, in the rock crock um, here on the stove. So the next thing we're gonna do is we've got to do three cloves of garlic into the pan. Oops, two, three. All right, I'm gonna use my garlic press. Well, if I can get it in there, right there we go. And if you notice, I didn't have to peel my garlic. Because this nifty little tool takes care of all of it, and there's your um, oh, there's some goodies right there. There's your leftover um, your skin. Drop that right there. I'm gonna do three total, so let's do a couple more. There's two. And number three. We just have to cook this for just a few seconds till it's good and fragrant. And the other one neat thing is this little cleaning tool here just cleans everything right out. And just drop it in the trash. I've got my little lid here. And then the other side here is these little pieces um, fit right into the holes in the garlic press. So when you're cleaning it in the sink, you can just push this through, and all those little things that are sticking up the spikes will go through the holes, and it'll clean out any of the um, garlic that's in your holes. Okay, let's that down. Let this cook for just a few more minutes, or a few seconds. And then while this is doing this, we're going to do, we need three cups of chicken stock. Yeah. These are our little silicone cups here, silicone measuring cups. These are great for melting chocolate in the microwave. You just put your chocolate in, add a tablespoon or so, uh, depending on how much chocolate you have, of, um, uh, what's that stuff called? The, um, I'm thinking sauces here because we're not talking chocolate. Um, coconut oil. And pop it in your microwave and then you just pull it out. It's really nice. Alright, so there's our three cups of chicken broth. This round, don't want to burn. And then I have to open up. It calls for a 24 um, ounce uh, jar of marinara sauce. I used that marinara sauce the other day, so we're just going to use um, this spaghetti sauce, which it works the same as the Hunt's garlic and herb. One of the ones we use when we make spaghetti, so it works. And what's the last thing we have to use? Do, 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 do. Oh, and then we have to have um, pasta shells. Little small pasta shells here. I'm gonna take, pop this out. And it calls for 12 ounces, so I have 16 ounces here, and I believe we said 12 ounces was, here's my conversion chart, one and a half cups. So our easy read measuring cups here. The measurements are on the inside of the cup, which I really like because you can set it down and wherever it stops, it's the actual measure. So let's put the one and a half cups in. All right, we've got that. And let's see. So we're gonna add the chicken stock here. Then we are going to add the pasta shells right in there with it. I'm going to mix it up. Where'd my little thing go? Here we go. Mix the pasta shells in there. Can you see it, Cass? Uh-huh. 
All right, I got my helper on the other side there. All right, so we're gonna turn this down to medium. Or we're gonna have it on high, excuse me. And it's gonna boil. My dog is scratching for water. Riley, Sage, get the dog some water. She turned my down. Just gotta love it. Okay, so while that's doing that, um, I am going to go ahead and oops, spread our Parmesan cheese. And I'm, I'm using our. Um, that's okay. And I'm gonna use our um, a fine adjustable grater here. And it calls for two ounces, which is about a half cup. So, y'all, this stuff shreds and it looks like snow. It shreds so well. And it shreds super easy. Now, right, let's see how much this is. All right, so I'm gonna take this and we'll put it in here where we had the pasta shells. Ooh, yep, that looks about right. We have a half a cup. And what I like about this is you can take it here and adjust the handle and you can grate it over a bowl. Here, if you wanna grate it like I just did and then it closes up completely so it doesn't take up a ton of space um, in your cabinets, which is nice. It's actually fit in a drawer. All right, got that. Let's not leave out any of this cheese. The cheesier, the better, right? Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do, all right, so we're supposed to have croutons for this dish, but um, I believe my children ate them all. Let's look at them. So we're gonna dump this in the classic batter bowl. And for the croutons, it calls for one cup. So I am going to improvise and do some panko crumbs and do about let's see it's like one cup i'll probably do three fourths a cup of panko crumbs just measured up three fourths of panko crumbs and of course it calls for the seasoned um croutons and these are not seasoned panko crumbs so we'll just we're just gonna make it work all right so this is coming up to a boil, and then what we'll do is when it comes up to a boil, we'll turn it down and it'll um, simmer for seven to nine minutes or until the pasta is done. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna grab some basil off of my tree. My basil is looking pissed now. All right, so we'll just grab some fresh basil. Mm, at least the good ones. Yeah, exactly. I'll pull some of this stuff that's not so great off. How many pieces is it telling me to get? Fourth a cup. Mm. Smells good, doesn't it? Mm. One more. Make that work. Now I'm going to take my chef's knife. This is the color coded chef's knife. I'm gonna chop it. Y'all, I am not good at this, so y'all can laugh at me. That's fine. But I'm gonna get it good and chopped up. My husband tells me I'm always that I'm gonna cut my fingers, but it's okay. I'm sure it won't be the first or the last time that I've done that. Ooh, I'll keep cutting these. Okay, from, this is not a fourth a cup, but we're gonna make this work. So I'm not real sure how picky my kid's going to be. So. And y'all are making guinea pigs. We have not made this one yet. I've tried it. Somebody else has made it. I've tried it there, but we have not made it. All right, so we've got this going. Um, the other ingredients it calls for is cream cheese. Um, so I am going to, where's our cream cheese? I have the cream cheese sitting out for a little bit, and it calls for um, four ounces. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, two, four, 
I need to have more than that, so all of this will have to be used. All right. Place the glass of butter all great. Da, 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 da. All right, so while I'm waiting on that cream cheese, we're gonna go ahead and mix this real quick. This is just the cheese and the what's supposed to be the croutons. Breadcrumbs. But making this work with Parmesan cheese. I mean with um, panko crumbs. There we go. Okay. And I'll get this mixed together in just a moment. All right, so just to give y'all an idea of what the special, or to tell you guys a little bit more about the special, like I mentioned earlier, um, if you sign for the month of February and you do your 12, 15 sales in your first 30 days, you can receive the Dutch oven, which is our big rock rock, um, and the slow cooker stand for 50%, I mean, for, for free, excuse me. So one thing that I love about this piece is the versatility of it. You can take it from your stove top, to your microwave, put it in your oven. You can put it in your refrigerator and your freezer if need be. Um, it goes in your dishwasher for easy cleanup and it can also go in your outdoor grill. So it can withstand temperatures up to 725 degrees. So it really makes it a neat little piece. And then I, you heard me mention about the slow cooker stand. There's a slow cooker stand that you can get with it um, that you actually get with the, the special for this month. And the slow cooker stand, um, you can put the uh, this inside the slow cooker stand and turns it into a slow cooker, a little crock pot. So it's a really cool little piece. Um, and Tamara Chef's done a really good job designing this piece. It's probably one of my new favorite pieces, even though we've had it for a while. I hadn't really used it a bunch, and I don't know why, because it's amazing. All right, so we've got this in here. I'm gonna turn this down. Seven to nine minutes, let me start first. And of course, it comes with a glass lid. There we go. Mm. There's also a carrying case that you can purchase separate, um, which makes it really nice for when you're taking things like to um, church, if you're having like a, we did a soup um, lunch one time um, after church services um, with our Sunday school class, and we were able to package everything in our little carry-on case. So let me actually go grab that and I'll let you take a look at it. Hang on. So this is our actual um, stand here. Put the top on. Um, this is the slow cooker stand, so you would actually just pick this up and set it straight into the slow cooker. And of course, it's got your off, low, high, and keep warm um, options. And then this is the carrying case. So this just slides into the carrying case, and it's got a little spot right here in the back to put your cord. It's not all hanging in place. And then your pot would set in here. Your lid would come off, and this would actually go under the lid here, just like this. And what that does is keeps it from moving around um, and the lid sliding off because it's made of uh, silicone. And this, let's see, this goes over the lid, the whole pot, and you latch it to it as tight as you need it. This here, these little holes here, are made for the handles for this. And then this piece here, you bring it up and over, and it attaches here. And then this is everything. So you've got your little carrying case um, for your slow cooker. Really neat little piece. There we go. All right, so while that's going, I'm going to mix the, um, the cheese and the the basil. Let's see. Cream cheese. Okay, these are actually going to go in here, so we'll wait on that. So what we'll do is we will um, come back to you in just a few minutes and um, let you guys see the finished um, product. So see you guys shortly. All right, and we're back. Um, the 
noodles and the pasta, I mean the, the noodles and the um, marinara mixture have been um, boiling for about nine minutes. So I'm gonna turn this off, open up the lid here. I'm gonna remove this from the heat, put it right here. I turn the oven to broil. And then it says to drop your cream cheese mixture in. Your basil. Okay. Let me get a napkin. And then we are going to stir this in. In our pasta. And while I'm stirring this in, um, we used garlic earlier and I did not give you my funny little garlic tip. So if you're ever out looking for garlic and you're like, I really don't know how to pick my garlic. <clears throat> remember this. You want your garlic like you want your men's underwear. Yes, I said that. You want your garlic like you want your men's underwear. White and tight. Not discolored and falling apart. So, always remember, you want your garlic white and tight, and not falling apart and discolored, okay? That's weird. All right. I think we've got it all mixed in. It looks like it's mixed in really well. Okay, so we've got this mixed in, and I'm gonna move this over a little bit farther, a little bit closer, I mean, to you. These are my neat little microwave grips. Love these. Actually, let me get a... trivet or hot pad. Right. These are our little microwave grips, kind of like little puppets. They are great for this. Great for a quick cooker especially. All right, so the next thing it tells you to do is to sprinkle this cheese mixture on top. So we just had it on the um, stove and we're going to place this in the oven. So I'm gonna sprinkle this on top. I don't know why my cheese balled up. I guess I got some humidity to it. And they should brown nicely, especially with these pankos. All right. All right. All right, so it's all in there. And we're gonna place it in here for one to two minutes. And my fire alarm likes to root me on when I'm cooking, so if it goes off, it's okay. All right. So one to two minutes, and that should be done. All right. So another thing I wanted to mention to you all is um, if doing this business is not something that or maybe you don't want to earn it for free, you don't want to sign up to do the business, something else you could do. For the month of March next month, we are offering um, this rock crock for 60% off. So the special next month is on the rock crocks, and you can get them at 60% off. So that's something else to consider as well. Um, of course, I like free, and free is for me. Um, so however you want to do it, and of course, if you do sign up, you get a killer kit um, at a great price. Um, and some great products as well and you can try it out for 30 days and if after 30 days it's not your thing then that's okay you get to keep your kit you get to keep your commission you get to keep any perks that you earn and um, if you reach your 1250 in sales in your first 30 days you get to keep your rock crock um, and just to give you an idea of what your commission would be if you did 1250 in your first 30 days you'd make over $280 um, so that's a pretty pretty good little part there so let's see what we're looking like all right, so if you guys have any questions um, or anything of that nature, just um, post it down in the comments below, um, and um, we'll, we'll go from there, and I'll try to get those answered for you. So um, we've got about 40-something minutes left on this um, piece. The other um, rock crop items that you can purchase, we've got the, um, the everyday pan, which is uh, smaller. I think it's a two-quart. Um, we also have the... The grilling stone that you can use um, that you can purchase for the month of March um, and it's um, a few pizzas on it and such and then there's a square stone um, there's the extra large Dutch oven that one's humongous I think it's eight quarts um, 
So there's many different Rock Croc items that you can purchase for the month of March um, at your 60% off. And for the month of March, that's when our new spring catalog comes out. So that means there will be new items to offer for your um, family members and your um, friends. Um, so if you're interested in hosting a show for the month of March, that is a perfect opportunity because we will have lots of new products in the catalog. Okay. All right. Now, hopefully my fire alarm won't go off, but it's okay if it does. Let's see if I can fan it. It's right above my stove. I don't know what people were thinking when they built this. Put that up there for both, when they built this house. Can you get a picture of this? Put up. I'll lift it. You got your noodles and your sauce and then your, your crunchy topping on top. And then if you want to add more cheese, you can add more cheese. So thank you guys for checking out the video and um, for joining us um, this week. You guys have a great day. Bye for now.